Keaton Halley here with Dr. Matthew Charhati, one of our newest uh, speakers in our CMI US office. Okay, Hi, greeting, Matthew. Greetings, everybody. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah. Glad you could join us. And as I mentioned, our topic today is the uh, alleged genetic similarity of humans and chimpanzees. Um, even your your average uh, person on the street has heard this claim that um, humans and chimps share 99% or 98%, sometimes the figure is, of our DNA. Uh, so we're going to talk about whether yeah. that's true or false and, and the implications it has for our worldview. Um, so, Matthew, do you know where that figure actually came from originally? Okay, so originally this figure was uh, determined by a, a researcher called John Alquist as an evolutionist. And he said that uh, this was based on an older kudo technology involving DNA, DNA hybridization. Yeah, this this was like back in the 1970s, the, I believe. Back is in that the right? 1990s, um, it, it was decades ago. Oh, it, was, it was a very cute technology. And that was before they had actually even sequenced um, the human yeah, genome yeah, yeah. or even the, the chimp chimpanzee genome. genome. So, so this was uh, based not on sequential technology, whereas they've uh, sequenced the whole entire uh, chimpanzee genome as well as the human genome sequence. And when we look at uh, newer data, uh, uh, other research uh, studies show that this uh, uh, sequentially, when we talk about sequence similarity, we get numbers as low as 96.5%, even as, as low as 87%, or even as low as 70%. The interesting thing is that when they uh, sequenced the uh, chimpanzee genome and they aligned it to human, they found big differences between the two genomes. In fact, only 70% of the chimpanzee genome actually aligned to the human genome. It's a very big gap. There are lots of missing regions between the two genomes. Yeah. So this, this is very significant. And right, in effect, Matthew, you're saying that um, it's, it's it's almost like an urban legend that um, humans and chimps share 99% 90, similarity in their DNA. This is something that the, the figure keeps getting kicked around and everybody knows that it's true and yet... So actually, let's take a look at this 1%. Uh, the human genome sequence is uh, is 3 billion base pairs. And uh, even if this 1% figure is true, let's take a look at the numbers. Yeah, This would correspond to uh, several hundred genes which are present uh, in human as opposed to chimpanzee. And this is actually quite a lot. This can yeah. cause, this could be responsible for quite a bit of difference. And, you know, people, they, they emphasize like similarities, but there are also quite a large number of differences between uh, chimpanzees and humans. Uh, so, for example, um, if we look at regulatory regions, uh, we, we find that uh, uh, for 17 percent, one sixth of all the regulatory networks in human are missing from chimpanzees. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've actually counted the number of uh, differing genes between chimpanzees and humans. There are about 1,400. And about, uh, yeah. for example, about 10% of these genes cause differences in the brain region. And again, if you look at the brain region of chimpanzees and humans, they're very different. Yeah. There are regions in the human uh, brain which, which, which uh, are responsible for speech, which chimpanzees don't have. And it's also a very major difference between uh, us and chimpanzees. Yeah. And th this is a major problem, of course, because like you said, even if we sort of grant the assumption that we are only 1% different, that's still, we're talking about 30 million letters differences between humans and chimps today. Um, and supposedly the, the evolutionists say that we had a common ancestor 6 million years ago, but can you really but, well, achieve I mean, that many differences in that? I mean, it's a long amount of time, but but it's relatively short to get that well, many well, changes, I mean, right? Uh, 6 million years, according to current uh, genetic mod models taking uh, uh, mutations into account, uh, even 6 million years, is uh, incapable of accruing all these mutations. Uh, but we can also look at, uh, at gross, uh, the gross uh, similarity between chimpanzees and the human genome. Uh, for example, if you look at the Y chromosome, uh, the chimpanzee Y chromosome is only about half the size of the human Y chromosome. Yeah, that's that, a, that's that was a shock, right? When they yes, discovered yes, yes, that yes, the, very much the Y chromosomes were radically different um, very between different. humans and chimps. And we can also talk about uh, chromosome number two. Uh, evolutionists like to point out that, uh, or they try to point out that, that uh, uh, chimpanzee chromosome 2A and 2B, they fused uh, to form uh, what is what they think is a human chromosome number two. Uh, I think that uh, chimpanzee chromosome 2B should be called uh, chrom uh, chromosome number three in chimpanzees. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, creation scientists, uh, researchers, we analyzed the, uh, the the alleged fusion point between chromosome 2A and 2B in chimpanzee, which should correspond to in human chromosome number two. 
and they found all these regulatory and all these functional elements. So, uh, evolutionists allege that uh, two chromosomes in chimpanzee fused uh, to form a single chromosome in human. Yeah, and and yeah. for the for the lay audience who might not even know what chromosomes are, um, these are like the when DNA gets all wound up together and bundled in these huge um, chunks. It, it's like like big continuous chunks of DNA. And we, uh, you yeah. might remember in high school that that humans have twenty three pairs of chromosomes, chimpanzees have twenty four. Right, and so hence the fusion. So that's yeah. that's one of the differences in effect that they actually have an extra cr chromosome compared to us. Exactly. But exactly. What the evolutionists claim is that two of these. Um, not not in the chimpanzee, but in the common ancestor between chimps and humans. They say these uh, the other apes have 23 pairs of chromosomes and that two of these fused to form human chromosome oh, number two. Right, that's what they say. But uh, upon closer examination, we find that this alleged fusion point between the two chromosomes, uh, it's not functionless. There's a lot of uh, functional elements uh, in that region, meaning that that uh, it really, really disproves the idea that that uh, two chromosome ends just randomly got tacked on. Yeah, one joined another. together. Yeah, really yeah, we, we know it. chromosome fusions can happen. That they're, they seem to be rare right. in nature, but a, an end-to-end -end fusion would be um, very... Actually, we see these kinds of things in, in cancer, which is not quite, not something <laughs> yeah. that would uh, help the fitness of a given organism. Yeah, very good. And yeah. we've written a lot more uh, about that. We can't go into much more depth yeah. about chromosome fusion, but it's uh, it's a hotly contested area. Uh, right. between creationists and evolutionists. Um, maybe we should talk a bit about just what um, similarity would prove. That's an argument for evolution in general, that allegedly the, the similarities between different types of organisms right. down to the level of our DNA yeah. supposedly proves that, therefore, we have a well, common ancestor because well, we shared those same sequences. I mean, uh, so they say that uh, we're 99% similar to chimpanzees. Uh, and again, this number is very contested. Different groups show different uh, statistics. But then uh, we're also 50% similar to bananas, or we also have genes in common with yeast. Does it make yeah. us half banana or half <laughs> daffodil or whatever? It sounds ridiculous, but I mean, uh, I mean, again, this is an error of, of correlation does not prove causation, that uh, there could be another explanation behind the similarities. Uh, another possible explanation is that, is that the reason we have so many genes in common with chimpanzee is because that uh, there's simply, we eat the same food, and so we need similar enzymes to break down this food. So simply, uh, yeah, the, and structurally, we're very similar, right? We're both exactly, mammals. Exactly, we, exactly. We, we um, have the same sort of skeleton, and um, which just so happen to be structurally similar. Of course, I mean, uh, if evolution is true, we'd have to show how random mutations uh, bring about all these, all these, all these uh, differences. Yeah, but, and as. But as, as we already mentioned, there's a major problem with getting, you know, in, in the amount of time that we al allegedly uh, de departed yeah. from our common ancestor with chimpanzees in six million years or so. Mm. Um, that's not enough time to get all right, these right. all these differences. Right. And let's also not forget that that uh, mutations, the random changes in the DNA, and you don't get uh, you d you can't rewrite a book into another book. Let's say from Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven to let's say Tolstoy's War and Peace simply by rewriting the letters. It doesn't happen that way. Yeah, the mutations are overwhelmingly harmful, deleterious, right? Exactly, exactly. And, um, I mean, obviously this means that the genes contain information and they were designed by an intelligent designer. What would you say to you? I, I, I would think there's an argument to be made that we're more than merely our DNA, right? When you, when you look at the differences between humans and chimps on uh, not on the level of genetics but on the level of the the phenotype and our behavior and yes, so, so forth. So exactly I mean, I mean uh, again let's just we can also stress differences between chimpanzees and humans. Uh, humans have speech, chimpanzees uh, they've been able to learn like a repertoire of, of words but they're very rote uh, words uh, when, when chimpanzees use these when they mimic these words which are taught to them by humans it's not like they expect a reward for using that word in these in these experiments and also like parrots can also mimic uh, mm, words yeah. doesn't mean that the chimpanzees can use grammar or like a structured language. Yeah, they have some level of communication, but it's not the same as they, human speech. They, they only use single words as opposed to sentences, mm -hmm. which yeah. humans, I mean, we also have art, we think abstractly. Yeah, we have creativity and, and so forth. Massive differences, you know, between the right. animal kingdom, even, even the brightest animals, uh, birds and dolphins and chimpanzees and so forth. They can't even um, come close to, they, they can't even come, uh, come close to, to humans. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, since, as we've said, everybody has heard this claim that humans and chimps are are 99% similar. There is no continuation between chimpanzees and humans. Again, let's stress differences as opposed to similarities. Yeah. And so, you know, one other point that we should maybe make, Matthew, is that um, the scientist that you mentioned, who was at one time an evolutionist, John, Dr. John Alquist, when he gave us, uh, he was one of the people that was instrumental in giving us that 99% figure originally. Yes, and, uh, and I've worked with him uh, on a paper before. So, and I think this also goes to show that that uh, that uh, this evidence it it convinces high level scientists as well. Yeah, many high level scientists, uh, including myself. Thank you.